Hey, welcome, welcome. I'm not in the Hardcore Pub today. I am out in Texas. Because you see here, I got a special guest beer reviewer. And she doesn't do beer reviews. That's not what her channel's about. But hey, she was willing to come on board with me and do one because um, she recommended this beer to me. And I got to tell you a story about this beer. First off, this is Cha Cha from Adventures with Cha Cha. Hi, guys. So if you don't know about that channel, check her out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, we're out in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And she had mentioned that. She was working hard the other day, and she really enjoyed a Grolsch beer. And I have not tasted a Grolsch, and I'm going to guess over 25 years. Um, I was not a beer snob back in the day when I tried a Grolsch beer, and I didn't really like it. But I know that my taste buds have changed, and I'm looking forward to trying this. And I'm especially looking forward to Cha Cha's uh, review of it, because... She says she really enjoys this beer, and she's not a beer reviewer, so she's going to have like a different uh, perspective on it than I'm going to have. All right. But thank you for joining me, and, and let me, uh, this is the first collaboration in her brand new She Shed. Yes. Don't you like it? <laughs> it's, it's very fancy. It's very nice. I like what you've done with the place. I got some rustic vibes, and I think this place is good to drink some beer in, so... Let's start this review. I think it is, and I'm <laughs> going to find out here. I'm going to find out here real soon. So, this is um, Grolsch. I got the pint uh, version, mm -hmm. and because we're in Texas, I brought my super large 50-ounce glass because, um, as, as you, you might not know this, Cha-Cha, but I do pour all my beers hard, so yes, I'm going to just dump this aware. thing in there. It's going to get a big head on it. That's the way I do it. And um, you can pour it however you want to pour it. I'm just going to pour it the way that I always pour it. All right. And um, I'm excited. This is this got that fancy swing top on it. So I'm looking forward to uh, Aren't they awesome? getting into this. Because I have a feeling I'm going to like this beer. Because, I, like I said, I didn't like it 25 years ago, but I had bad taste in beer back in those days. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Because I know it's going to be fantastic. All right. So... What is your story about this Grolsch that we are about to partake in? Well, I lived in Miami, uh, and a buddy of mine, we went to, they, there was a, um, it was a place kind of like TGI Fridays or Applebee's or something like along those lines. It was called Bennigan's. Oh my god! And gosh. they had what was called a cop, it was called a Copper Clover Club. And what it was is you got this little card it looked like a credit card, but every time you went in and you ordered a beer, um, you would get credit for that beer on your card. And then once you've tried a certain number of beers, there were like perks along the way. Like you would get, a, I, I got a t-shirt. I don't know how many beers I had to drink to get a t-shirt, but they had like over 200 beers at that place. Yep, I remember that. And place. the thing was, when I would go in with... When I would go in with my buddy, he would always order the standard macro American beers like, you know, Budweiser, Miller, Coors, stuff like that, uh, which I knew I liked those at the time. So I was trying to go through the ones I didn't know, and I didn't like a lot of them because, like I said, I wasn't a, a beer connoisseur in those days. But the, they would always mix up, mix up our cards, so he would get credit for drinking the the beers that I drank and then I would get credit with the ones he drank which it screwed me up because I was I was saving the ones I knew I liked for last and I wanted to get the other ones out of the way but it's okay because here I am 25 years later I have a much better appreciation for the finer beers and I just know this is a premium Pilsner beer mm -hmm. um, I know it's gonna, I've already I've already busted the seal on mine got my swing top open because I couldn't wait. Well, but, let, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start drinking this. I am very parched. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and dump mine in my big old fifty ounce glass here. So let's. See. I don't have to worry about the head I, overflowing on your table. So I don't usually worry, don't worry about that. Whoa! <laughs> I usually <laughs> drink from the bottle, but I'm gonna be a lady today, and let's pour it. <laughs> so you want to? Well, I'll tell you. There is something about putting putting the beer into a glass because yes. um, they look beautiful. They look beautiful, and the smell. You're not going to get a whole Ooh. lot of smell out of the ne the tiny little neck opening of a bottle. 
than you would out of a glass. Look at this, this is a pour. crystal clear beer. There is no this head is on this pour. I know how to pour. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute now. You're contradicting me right here. And I'm ready to see. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my big massive head on mine. <laughs> I don't like a lot hey, of head on my okay. beer. I, I get people that give me a hard time about the way that I pour my beer, and they say, you know, you need to tilt the glass pour down. I said, the name of my bar yes. is called the well, Hard Pour Pub. Fiance, Why would I pour it down the side of the glass if the beer name of my place is called the Hard Pour Pub? It's going to be a hard pour every time. I've been thinking about this beer all day long, and it looks so beautiful right now. <laughs> I must drink yeah. it. <laughs> I, I'm with you. It's It's been a long day, yes. and um, this looks too good. i got to get some of this in my Please. body. So. Please. Cheers, Cha Cha, and Salud. thank you so much. And Salud. cheers to all of you viewers out there. Let's see what this Grolsch uh, tastes like. You gotta smell it first. What you think? Mm. I smelled it, and it smelled so good, I had to dive right in. Sorry about that. My etiquette is breached. I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm not in my territory. I'm in, um, I'm taste. in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything mm. is bigger in Texas, and so is this beer. Um, <laughs> Just so you'll know, I got introduced to this beer by my fiance. Um, I know I mentioned it to you before, but I want to tell you the story. Uh, the reason I like okay. this one most of all is because I wasn't too much of a lager drinker, but when he introduced me to this, it's very, let's say, not too hoppy, and it has like a citrusy to it, and it was it went down smooth, let's just say that, and I've loved it ever since. It's delicious. Well, I can I can tell you this, that um, I'm really enjoying this beer now. Right? <laughs> um, because, because of the flavor. See, 25 years ago, I drank the flavorless beers. I drank the light beers, you know, the... The Bud Light. The macro-produced, um, you know, the Bud Light, uh, Bush, Bush Light... Um, you know, a Coors Light. That's what I drank. That's what I thought beer tasted like. Not it's only now that I've. <laughs> yeah. We have to. Yeah. We have to say hi to my fiance. He likes the curves. <laughs> Where is James? Ah, I see. He just walked yeah, in. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> we have James from Mahalu Ranch. Come on in. Mahalu Ranch. Now, see, when when I read it, I I, I was saying Mahalu, but I yeah. did. I, I was on a live the other day, and I was in the chat, and I heard James say, "It's not Mahalu, it's Mahalu or something." It's like oh, it's like one word, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's correct, Brian. I mean, uh, okay, so the the difference between that that harsh pinging dialect is one's a little bit more Hawaiian and one's Pomoan. So we're Pomoan. So if you say Mahalu. That's that's actually correct. Um, it's correct in both languages, but if you say Malu, that's going to be more of the the whole the Hawaiian aspect of it. So, yeah, some people they'll they'll okay. they'll eccentricate the accent on it, and some people don't. We tend to just say Mahalu, but yeah, Malu's that's the pronunciation of it. Mm -hmm. It's if you really want to look at the the exact dialect, it's Malu and but it's just Mahalo. <laughs> That's just oversimplified. It's just Mahalo. Like, mahalo just, Ranch. Just drink the beer. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. I'm. Let me grab me a glass because I see you guys already got your support. Okay. Yeah, let me get over here. Yeah. Yeah, and James, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'm going to be doing a collab with James and um, I said his channel, Mahalo Ranch. Hopefully, we'll be doing a collab with that channel soon. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm glad that Cha Cha from Adventures with Cha Cha um, agreed to do this. It, you know, it's it's a new thing that I've discovered. It's not a new thing out there. It's just a new thing that I've recently discovered. And that's just there's a lot of great channels out here on YouTube. It's that, awesome. Um, normally, um, not everybody is going to stumble across those channels. And I found Adventures with Cha Cha. Uh, what, nice pour. What channel was it? It was. It was like either a cooking channel or a homesteading channel or something like that. Oh, I found a lot of great people on those channels. Yeah. And um, I like doing cross cross genre collaborations because um, you know. It's just not one there's thing. There's great people out there. Right. And it's awesome. Yes. And yeah. I saw your page, and I just had to see it. Uh, the videos are awesome. 
and we love beer and i just had to be on it <laughs> yeah definitely we uh we've we've broadened our uh our range of uh tasty beverages ourselves over the years and so she's been on this adventure with me for uh eight years now since we've uh, well since she started with me but since we've both decided to start doing the we started uh doing restaurants so we're we're hitting all the the it restaurants the hole in the walls the in-betweens the dives trying out their signature dishes their signature drinks and uh, we've just been doing that for eight years and then we really got into homesteading um you know the off-grid uh ranch life and uh then of course life happened so we had to pull everything to you know back a bit because of covid and everything but you know we're definitely wanting to get back into it and we love getting out and trying beers and there's a there's a few that i'm probably going to uh get with you on uh once we once we set up our collab that i'll probably uh, uh definitely want to do some tasting with you know we'll probably like them it's right. it's the season for them anyway all right it is wow. and i and i love i love all types all styles and like i say the young me uh would never have said that. The young me would have said, it's got to be a light beer or I'm not drinking it. But guess what? I grew up and I matured. Hey, it's better. It's better to drink these more flavorful beers than it is to drink a ton of those light-tasting beers, in my opinion. Yes. And um, the palate so has... I look, I, look forward, I look forward to it, James, because, uh, I say, uh, I just... Not that I met you know met you uh, the other night on that on that live, yeah. <laughs> um, but you seem like a cool guy, and I know you I know you love food, and I love food, and I especially love that Texas food. I, I do, I love it. Um, I mentioned that I lived in Kingsville for a few months back in 2006, and the food was fantastic, and nothing nothing goes better with good food than good beer. That's right. Yeah, exactly, and uh, we have. Uh, believe it or not, um, there's you look them up, and I'm I'm gonna kind of name drop these guys so they better, uh, you know, throw me throw me a, uh, at least a thumbs up. Uh, Lockhart Smokehouse, uh, they're actually here uh, in the DFW area, but I started doing smoke camps with them when they first opened up, and what that is is um, the uh, the two the two owners actually were on um, uh, it was the uh, uh, chopped outdoor edition. One's a cordon bleu chef, and the other one's uh, he's a, a professional photographer. But they open this restaurant, and so what they do is they do all these awesome cured and smoked meats. Well, they do these camps called you know smoke camps, where we go in there and we learn how to uh, cure uh, the different types of cuts, and we also at the end of the the cooking process we would do a, a beer pairing with the different types of meats, and so that was one of the things that I picked up was all the different craft beers with the different uh, select cuts of, of meat. Just It just blended really well, and I kind of really fell into that, you know, and it just, just followed my palate this whole time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I love the adventure. My mouth is watering. Just, hear, just hearing all of this is making my mouth water. It's a blast. That's <laughs> yeah. why I say Adventures with Cha-Cha, because whenever we do our adventures, it's always beer, food, and a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we enjoy it. Well, that's awesome. It looks like I stumbled across a couple of real gems here. Thank you. With Adventures with Cha Cha and Mahalu. Not I'm saying it wrong. It's not Mahalu. It's yeah, Mahalu. Yeah, just Mahalu. Yeah, just Mahalu. Yeah, just Mahalu. Yeah, just Mahalu. <laughs> yeah, just Mahalu, Mahalu Ranch. Ranch. Yeah, Mahalu, Mahalu Ranch. Ranch. All right, that works right there. Yeah. All right. What do you What do you think of this Grolsch, James? Oh, oh, uh, you know, honestly, uh, this Grolsch has been around what? Four hundred years. Uh, yeah, longer, longer than longer than you know since we've been 1615. around. Sixteen fifteen. Right, sixteen. Yeah, that's right. Since the since the brewery opened, they're. I mean, they haven't changed this ingre the the ingredients neither. So I really do like it. I've been drinking this for. Ooh. Um, How long have we been dating? Oh, uh, too long. <laughs> no, I've been I've been drinking this for about twenty years. But you know how I came across the Grosch? Is I went to go find some Carlsberg beer, and it's very it, oh, at the at the time about a decade ago it was really hard to find here in in the central states, so you kind of either had to be on a coastal uh, area to get a Carlsberg beer, and uh, there's one there's one uh, beer beer store beer wine store that opened up where we were staying at that started carrying it. Well, they were out, and so 
I was turned on to these girls, and you know, I've, I've started drinking them every since, and really like them. That's it. So, yes. yeah, I mean, it's you know, medium gold. You can't beat it. It's a good pilsner. And I'm not a big hoppy fan, but this just has enough hop to it. But it's still yeah. crisp and refreshing yeah. versus that overpowering. You know, you get some of those uh, newer craft beers that are, you know, especially with the IPAs, they tend to oh be overbearing sometimes on on the hoppiness. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you just get a, a a good blend of you you can smell the the barley, the grain. You get a good taste of that that citrusness in it, and it, the hop is just very mellow. So. I, I really enjoy this beer. And so do I. It is. I, like I said, when I, I met James, I fell in love with the beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It was all about the beer. Uh, yeah. It, it's, a, it's amazing. It, his, face, his face brought you to the party, but it was the beer that made you stay. Right. That's, that's all right. <laughs> right? And I mean, we, it's not... It's not a beer you want to drink every day, you know, after work, because you it'll gain some weight or whatever. But it's something you can drink maybe on special occasions, and I like it. It comes in a four pack. I don't know if it comes in more than that. Yeah. Does it? Uh, it, uh they do. Yeah, they, I went. They do sell them, uh, but usually you'll get them in cans. Okay. Well, like I sixer. like the pop, pop a top again. Yeah. So. I like collecting these bottles, so that's why I liked it. And yeah, these swing top bottles are awesome. something else. I like them. Right, and the taste is amazing. So yeah, it is. Oh, definitely. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. Yeah. Yes. The, the young me would not have liked this, but the old me loves this. I think it tastes great, and I'm glad that I do have a four pack because now I've got three right. more of these it, that I can enjoy. Exactly. <laughs> and I guess I'm gonna have to drink the other two. How about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. Sounds okay. good. Hello. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, mm -hmm. for stopping by Cha Cha's She Shed here. Thank you. In Texas. Thank you. Where everything's bigger and the beer tastes better. That's Because right. I sure think so. <laughs> so be sure to check out Adventures with Cha Cha and Mahalu Ranch. Thank you. They're on YouTube. They make some good videos. I'll leave the links to both of those in the description. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Till then. Adios. Cheers. Salud.